Hey there, Head Squeezers. It's time to tackle some of the brilliant questions that you guys have been sending us in. Thank you so much. Mr. James May is actually off shopping today. He's realized that he is so close to getting the world record for the man who holds the most flowery shirts that he's gone off to pick up a few more. But don't worry, I'm here and there's an absolute brilliant trio of very interesting questions today. Um, I'm gonna to be talking about inhaling helium, uh, earwax, and an absolute brilliant question. Are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? We'll tackle that one. So let's get cracking. The first one that was dropped into a comment below one of our videos was from A11 Down Day, who asked, what actually happens when you inhale helium? Really interesting one. So uh, a lot of you, I'm sure, have been at a party and you've grabbed the old inflatable balloon and you've, you've taken a good old breath and done your best impression of a chipmunk. But what is happening? What is going on? Well. It's all down to something called timbre. Now timbre is what can make two different instruments playing exactly the same note at the same volume sound completely different. And our voices have very different timbres as well. Now, as I'm speaking, air is coming out of my lungs and it's setting a little V-shaped load of cords, my vocal cords in my larynx vibrating. That then starts the air molecules in my upper vocal tract vibrating. That creates resonant frequencies and then by changing the shape of my mouth and moving my tongue, that changes the sound that we hear as human speech. Now, sound waves travel through air at a constant speed of 330 meters per second. But here's the thing, helium is a lot less dense than air, so the sound waves can travel through it a lot quicker, right up to about 900 meters per second, and that changes the timbre of your voice. So when you suck in some of that helium and you start speaking, your voice goes a little bit like this. A little bit funny and high-pitched. Okay, cut. That's, that's enough of the effect. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, that is exactly what's going on. Now, I've also been asked to say to you guys, it's probably not a good idea to breathe in helium because it can cause injury and sometimes death. And we find that that definitely puts the dampener on a good party. Um, next up, we've got one from Jake Geiger, uh, who asks, what is earwax? This is a brilliant question. I love those icky, yucky kind of questions. So that yellow, sticky substance, it can also be known as cerumen, and it's produced in the sebaceous gland just inside the ear canal, inside your ear. So what is it? Well, it's mainly made of dead skin cells, but if you were to mix it up, what are the other ingredients in the recipe? Well, you've got keratin, you've got long chain, fatty acids, you've got squalene, alcohols and cholesterol. So it's a whole hodgepodge of stuff that's gone in there. And yes, it may be all sticky and a bit horrible, but it actually serves a really important function or set of functions. First of all, it moisturizes your ear canal, which is really important because without earwax, they would be all dry and itchy. Second of all, it stops water and dust and stuff like that getting into your ear canal, which is very important. And third and finally, it's also got antibacterial properties, so it can fight infection. So there you go, you will never look at earwax the same way again. I promise you, it's quite interesting stuff. Now, if you want to see loads more Head Squeeze videos like this one, then just click on the subscribe button, which this week the producers have put, uh, yeah, on my foot. What a surprise, see what you've done there. Put it on Greg Foote's foot. Yeah, just, just humor them. Now on to the final question, and it is a belter. This is from YouTube user Got Some Loot. And it is, are zebras black with white stripes or are they white with black stripes? This is a proper head squeezing question and I love it. First of all, we should answer the question of why do zebras actually have stripes in the first place? And there are a few interesting theories for this. One of my faves is that the, the alternating pattern of black and white it's actually been shown to deflect up to about 70% of the heat that falls on a zebra. And the second is down to camouflage. Now, I know that you guys are probably yelling at the screen right now and saying, how, Greg, can a black and white zebra be camouflaged in the plains of Africa? Good point. The thing is, zebras are 
pack. You know, they're like communal animals. They like to go together and pack in herds. And that means that there's a load of black and white next to each other. And ethologists, they're a group of people who study animal behavior. They say that that could create a really weird optical illusion so that for any prey like lions or whatever, when they look at that, they get totally freaked out. So there's one uh, answer for you. Without further ado, let's answer the question. Are they black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Drum roll, please. The majority of scientists say that they are black with white stripes. Yes, if you look at a zebra fetus, it's black right up until the last stage of the development, which is when the white stripes start to appear. And it's actually a genetic process called selective pigmentation. Now what happens is that the kind of predominant actual colour pigment is black and it's areas that are under pigmented that give the white stripes and like the white underbelly. If you were to shave off all the fur from a zebra, which we definitely do not condone here at Head Squeeze, what you would get is a black skinned, dark skinned zebra. Brilliant question, really interesting answer as well. Thanks so much for that. Uh, now that's it, I'm afraid, that's it for me. Um, please do keep those questions coming, you know the drill by now. Either put them down in the comments below these YouTube videos or pop them up on our Facebook page or send us a tweet. Until next time, happy head squeezing.